Why is the mirror going to go there? Well, we have to go there with us. You rub away for the closet. You rub away for the wound. You look right about your mouth. Can you get out of here? Scream right. No, no, no. I didn't know. 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 I didn't Oh, so good evening, guys. Uh, today we are going to continue with our training, and I guess this should be the last pass for my forest training. So, I'm going to take you guys to the last time I thought I told you guys uh, how to use indicators to predict the market. And to analyze the market. So today I will be teaching you guys. Today I will be teaching you guys. Uh, sorry, guys. So today I will I will be teaching you guys this now, which is called support and resistance, and uh, that should be the last part I'll be teaching you guys. So and I. Uh, I advise you guys to practice very well with all what we have taught you so far and uh, we're making money and being ITM in the, the past ages. So let's look at the peers we have on ground and let me teach you guys uh, the support and assistance. Okay, let's do this uh, real GP. Let's start with this one. Support and assistance does that uh, you have to look for a particular point so if, if once you zoom the trend look at for that point that is the, that shooting point this is a point now this is a shooting point this is an edge 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 and uh this is an edge too this is an edge this is an edge something like that so this those edge that were used to was draw your support and resistance so this is how we draw it. Support and don't have it. Does not really have a particular strategy, or does not have a particular way. I might draw my own. It might be different from yours. The way you might draw your own might be different from mine. But if we are using a very strong level, because we have strong support and weak support, if we are using a very strong support, that means that uh, 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 we might be able to draw the same uh, support and resistance. But uh, because we have some weak level, we have some strong levels. So that's why someone has to be very, very careful. But once your level, there's a rejection up to like maybe two or more three times from that particular level, that means that level is strong. Or maybe that level is just over, 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 and over. That means the level is very, very strong. Let's look at like this trend now. I want to do this level now. This is where the, the last point, where they can't reverse from this, the movement of this trend. This point let's check it so you, you want to draw it click this point go to horizontal lines you click it let me just change the size let me zoom in this is the body you draw you put one line on the body and put another line on the what on the wick the wick is the tip put another one there my put another one here but let's look at it let's check it backward maybe this level is a good level or a it's not a good level. Look at this place. You can't do move like this. It's touch this point. It shows a rejection and it went back again. So that means this place is this level. Let's move back. Let's move back. Let's check it. This place too. You can't do move. The market moved to this point and it pans back again. It went up again. That means this level is also used here. Look at this place now. You can't do touch this place and came down again. This candle came down, this one came down, until this one break it. 
once the particular level is break by a strong candle that means that particular level is strong maybe the level is just like one or three times and it's broken by a very strong candle this is a strong candle that means level is strong so let's still look let's check back backward before we conclude that this level is a strong level here it was crossed Yeah, look at it. It was unable to cross it. Bounce back again. So let's check. Look at this. It was used many times. It was banging, bouncing back on that level. It was bouncing back on that level. So that means this level we drew. Look at it. It was unable to cross it. It went up again. So that means this level we drew is a strong support. Support level is always at the down part. Resistance is always at the upper part. Do you understand? So this level is strong support level. That means that if this market should move from here and touches this particular line, or it should come in between this support level, I can place the trade, I can buy, that is going up again, because this is very strong support level. But if you want to draw a resistance, the resistance is always at the upper part. The last one we have that is yet from maybe you can use this level. It depends on how you view the market. That way, I used to draw on support level and resistance level. But the main thing is I make sure the level is strong. Look at this level. I use this candle to draw it because this is where the market is vast. Because this is where the market is vast. If you look at it here now. It's got this my candle was unable to cross this resistance level because the resistance don't forget the resistance is always at the one part when it's broken it don't support but now it has not been broken so it's still the resistance look at it here it touches this point and bounce back touches it and bounce back let's check it backward you can change the color in case if, if you think it might be convincing you so let's check backward look at it too too it was unable to cross it too. It's bounced back, bounced back, unable to cross it. Look at this, let's move backward. This one too was unable to cross it. This one crossed. There was a cross there. Look at look at it. It was just there too. Bounce back, bounce back. Bounce back. It was crossed there. It was crossed there. It was just there. This, this one can't cross it. It was just many times there. So this level is what? A strong resistance. That means if the market should move upward and comes in between this line, in between the resistance level, I can sell the market. I can place that what is coming down. I will sell if it should move to reach this point. And so I can just set alarm here now. I can set alarm here. Or there's what is, there's something what we call rejection. Injection is but let's assume the market moved up and comes down and show a rejection below the line below the support level that's uh we call rejection so now that means the market must move in between the support level in between this resistance level so when it's getting in between this level the start level i can place my uh trade that it's coming down i can sell and then if the market should move back and touch this support level in between or it should come outside like this I can place my trade as what it's going up. That's buy. So let's <laughs> let me set. Let me split this market now. Let me use a pending order. So I'm placing this. Uh, I'm placing the alert here that if the market will touch this point, it will come out of this uh, this sub stand level. I can sell the trade. And the points I'm using here is uh, you can use in between this line, but just for. Margin of safety is that using both this extend level. You can easily in between. So the point is uh the point is zero point zero point nine zero three one six. Okay. This is it for change that. Look at it here. Purchase that. Click it. The price wants is zero point. Look at it here. The alarm here is zero point nine zero three one six. Zero point nine zero three one six. Zero point. 
0.90316. So, and then my prediction is that once it's come to this level, the market is going to bounce back. That means coming down. I can just place this other dollar. I can just place sell. So, since I've placed like that, when the market reach this point, it's going to automatically activate the trade, even when I'm more online and place the trade for me. That yeah, is coming down. So, now the position I, that I open now, <coughs> I can use stop loss. So, if you want to use stop loss, when you use support and resistance, use support. Now, I think that it's coming down. Abby, that means my. <coughs> That means my uh, my stop loss, <coughs> I have to use the word, is support level. Since I'm placed that it's coming down, that means I can use this level that uh, as my uh, stop loss. Um, I can use this level. The next, the next uh, level is this level now. I can use this level. I can use this level, this level here now. The next level is this one, as my words, take profit. Sorry. I can use this level here, this upper level here, since it's a sell. I can use it as my as my stop loss. I want to reach this place to close the trade. And I can use this level here as my will take profit. I want to reach this point. Once you make a profit to this level, you should close the trade for me. So let, let's let's get it now. So what's the point here? For the take profit. Since it's coming down and place come that zero point zero zero eight seven eight four zero zero eight four zero point zero zero eight four asset price zero point nine zero zero eight four why this one that's my best ninety why this one is uh the Stop loss zero point nine zero five four five four one zero point nine zero five four. I'm sorry. It's supposed to be a zero point nine zero five four one. So that means the profit I'm setting here is ninety percent profit. Is it loss ninety percent? Why my stop loss is what minus ninety one percent. So that's what I can also put another trade. That you know what type predict say was that the once the market reaches points, this particular red line is there now. This fifty that should help me activate the trade that is coming down. So once it follows my prediction, I will bring the money, which I'm very sure that the, I'm very sure that is going to follow my prediction. That's first thing. Now I have another strong <coughs> look at the market. The market is an uptrend though. So I have another strong support level here. So I can create an append market that if the market should come to this level, it should buy for me. I can use like a hundred dollar. <coughs> Sorry. So I can use like hundred dollar. Sorry. Uh -huh. I can use like hundred dollar for this one just to know the just use the so that we know which one is activating. Now, I have a strong support level here. Look at it here now. The strong support level here. I can once the market reach this level, I will buy the market. But I might not be the market if the market reach this level. So I can create the what? Another buying order. The one I created before will say that if market reach this point, you me activate it that market is coming down and should take profit at this level. So I know that this market is going to come down again. I want to create another buy order now. So that uh, I will this level as my what as my stop loss. You might just create one order. It's not necessary to follow my full step, but because I know that this level, these two levels are very strong, and I know that uh, it's going to be used. Then I want to create this two order. You can just create this one order and leave the market. You can just use buy order. You can just use buy order and leave the market. But I know that these two levels is strong. Now I'm using these two order. So it's not necessary. I have to use two order every time. So I want to use zero point zero zero. Keep the buy order zero point zero zero four seven. Look, come here. Zero point zero point zero zero four seven. Zero zero four seven. Okay. 
to zero zero four seven. Buy or that. Once you hit that level, you should buy for me. Hey. Zero zero four seven. Why is it not possible? The auto close settings are too low for me. Oh, okay. Let me click on now. Zero G. Zero G. They now allow me to create, okay. Okay. So zero zero four seven. But okay, that's please. So now that's please now. I have a pen the other here. So once the market changes please, automatically if I'm not online to activate the trade for me and to continue to work to move up. So now I want to set my auto close. That is stop close and take profit. So if market to activate it, it's going up. So once the market reach this point, this is the stand level because this way I don't like to bounce back. I might just reduce it a little bit just to below the lesser level, just to please it. If markets reach this point, let me just this point. In this point, you should stop and take profit from you. And if you have any stop loss at the damn part, okay, I can use this level as another stop loss. So if this market will reach, look at it here. If the market will reach this point, it should what? It should help me to stop loss. And create it, create. So that's alarm. So I, will, I want you to know the points. I want to say this. So you just go to this your. Uh, I'll go close. If my take profit is zero point nine zero two four six. Zero point asset price. Zero point nine zero two four six. Nine zero two four. I want why my uh, stop loss. Is uh is at uh, this level zero point eight nine eight one zero point eight nine eight one zero point eight nine eight one eight nine eight one one eight nine eight one one so the two is still ninety ninety percent this multiplier you can increase it if you use higher multiplier in case if you go if it's one thousand multiplier now and you play straight if you should go opposite to your prediction, you will lose your money quickly. You blow your account. But if you use 100 or 50, 100 or 50, that was okay. 50 is for people that have no balance. I don't want to blow your account easily. But 100 is still average to me. So that's uh, for that. You support and resistance. So let's also check this one out too. Let's just go to an app here. This is your USD. I want to draw the support and resistance for this one now. This is your USD. Okay, I'm coming out to check the one that I have. I've, I've reached this level. Let's go to your USD. Okay. Looking at this, uh, this USD JPY. This is an uh, uptrend, it's not moving up. This is an uptrend. So let's look at the support and SR level. The last point where it's revived, the last shooting point, the last edge is this place as the way it's reversed last. So let's draw a level there and check whether that plays a strong level or a weak level. I'm using this one, this candle to draw it because it's too much shoot. Shooting as well than this one. So let's now check it backward. It's reverse here, it's reverse here, it's reverse here. It's cross this one a little bit. It's reverse here, it's reverse here. That's more than three times. This one crossed the limit, it came back again. Let's check it backward. Okay. It's reverse, it was crossed here. It's reverse here. It was crossed here. This level. Is not really strong, but it can seem money. You can just call this level a weak level because it's breaking it sometimes. Breaking it, 
and this is an uptrend. So let's look for another one. Where the market is currently is around this point, Abi. Let's check. Okay. You can let's try and check this level. Where is the strong level? This place. You might draw any level, but you have to cross check whether the market is reversing from that point just to know whether that level is strong or is not weak. Once the level is seen, is reversing from that, when the particular, when the market is reversing from that level for more than three or more, four times, that level is strong. And once you use the level to place trade for more than maybe two or three times, the level is already, it can be broken any time. So you just have to leave it. So looking at this level now, okay, it's reverse it, reverse it. This strong can do break it. Okay, fine. It started using it from this level again. Okay. This one cross a little bit. It's reverse it, reverse it. Reverse it, this one cross it. Okay, let's check it backward. This cross it, this strong can do cross it. Reverse it, reverse it. It's reverse it, reverse it. Okay. Reverse also, so that means this level, wow, it reverse it too. It reverse it. This level is strong level. It's not being crossed easily. Most strong can look at my, my cross it, but to be used again. And look at our market currently now. The market is currently here now, at in between our support level, and also this is an uptrend currently. So that means I can please, <coughs> sorry. I can, it has even shown injection here also again. That means I can place my trade now. That means I can place my trade now. So let me use uh, $200. Let me use 200. Let me use 300. Yeah. So I can place my trade now that is going up. Without waiting for any artificial, because it's, be, it's be between my lines now, in between my uh, my support line, which is going to favor me. So I place my trade. I place my trade now. It's, it's going up back, so I can set my what take profit and stop loss. So my take profit and stop loss, I, I will use this level as my take profit, and I will use this level this level here as my stop loss. Oh, I should use this level. You have to use use the distance support level to set or take profit and stop loss. It's very, very important. So, I miss this level as my take profit. That's a 107.361. That's it here. Yeah. 107.361. That's my take profit. It's you change it to asset price. You want to use percentage. Maybe 10 percent don't add 10 percent or 20 percent. But because I'm using asset price, I'm using asset price already. So 107.631. Why our stop loss? Like I said, look for another level for that stop loss. Wait, reversing. Yeah, there's a reversal for me. It's reversing for me. It's reversing for me. So you can use this level as a stop loss. Once it breaks this level, See, there's a reversal here too. So once it's break this level, that means I no chance for you winning the trade. So you can set your stop loss here. One oh seven point four nine. One oh seven point four nine. Stop loss as a price. One oh seven point four nine. Point four nine four. Point four nine. So, looking at it there, uh, hey, sorry, I'm not supposed to use this level. So it's not a pretty position. Use the star, this settings button here. Just click the settings button because the trade is already ordered already. So, assume it's a pending trade. That way, you can use this auto close, this tip of that stop loss, and use this one to create my trade. But because it's not a penalty trade, I've already hit the trade already. So that means I can just, I will just click this settings button here, this settings icon here. It's going to bring it out. Okay. 
So that's a 107. Sorry. Let me copy it. Why the stop loss is this? Is one or seven point six three one? One or seven point six three one. So, uh, one or seven point six three. No, one or seven. So it's saying this is sell seven percent profit, and I'm setting six percent loss. The market is even coming down very well again. Let me go take a ride today. I'm very sure of this point. So I'm going to use five hundred multiplier now. Don't try this in retail though, because I know this market five hundred dollars. So. That's that. So I will, don't worry, I will repeat to you guys about the, uh, what do you call it? About, um, uh, seven, like that one. And this one is, eight. so once you take profit i will let you guys know but this one should start getting profit any time from now once it moves up a little bit i'm very sure of that so that's not a problem so i place the trade so that that's the set support and resistance and then also for those of uh, you guys i pretty uh i beg you guys to just you guys just take this thing very serious and then learn this thing very well uh, we have some plans for you guys, especially the serious ones. But we know how we can get you out those serious ones later on. So maybe we can just form a team. We have some future plans for you guys. That's for serious ones that know this stuff very well. Because we need some teams to to achieve some things so that we can work together. Everything is for profitability purpose. You understand? So I will just advise you guys, train this very, very well. Even if it's not just for our own sake, just for your own sake, practice very well so that you can start making money while your friends are busy walking up and down on the street. You can be inside your room making your cool money. So, more about the support and resistance should be taught in binary class. But this is the one I'll be taking you guys on for it. And if I use support and resistance, like I said, the accuracy is 90 percent but if you are using no indicator the accuracy is around 80 percent that means you place a trade and 10 trade you're going to win eight but if you are in support and understand you place 10 trades you will win nine trades it's very very accurate and very one of the best strategy in the world that most traders professionals do use so if you master this support and understand very well you are already good to go just master it for like a month Keep partisan, keep facing change, you are good to go. So, and also, if you need any more videos on the support and understand, we're going to send it to you. In case for you, if you don't understand, let us know in the group, in the group chat, we'll find a way to get more videos for you. But this is my last class for Forest class. So, thank you very much. I will update you about the trade, don't worry, that's not a problem. So once you see the take profit, I will let you know. And if you stop loss, I will let you know. But I know it's coming to profit. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night. And have a wonderful night. Enjoy yourself. Bye-bye. Any question? Let me any question. Let me question. Let me ask. I'm coming. Any question? If you have any question, raise up your hand. You can meet yourself now. If you have any question, ask a question. 
Oh, yeah, ask a question. Or me to say, ask a question. Uh, good evening, Muzam. Oh, good evening. Yeah. So, um, based on your screen now, I can uh, see your resistance and support. Yeah. Yeah, so now your resistance, which are the yellow line. Uh -huh. Why is it like below this highest point? Because I always pick mine to be like the highest the point. The highest point, that'd be okay. Thank you very much. Now, the reason why I said it's behind this point is because I want to place my trade instance. So I now look for a particular support level and this is where the market is currently you understand so i went back yeah. and i checked i went back 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 so i now notice that this level is somehow strong to me so i now drew i use this particular level to draw the support level after, after i drawing it so i now cross check whether that particular level is strong i went back backward to scratch whether it's not strong and i noticed that it was strong so I went forward again after drawing for that point. Diverse from here too. Diverse from here too. Look at all the candles, except this candle that I crossed it. And once, once a particular support level, that level is crossed by a strong candle, that means the level is strong. So look at other candles after it, after it is being crossed. Look at other candles. It's reversing from that particular point. It's reversing, reversing, reversing. That's why I now use that point to to place my trade. So, but normally if I want to wait, not if it's not an instant trade. I will have just used uh, this particular point here. Yeah. After drawing this particular point, I will now confirm, check backward. Maybe that particular point is strong or is not strong. It was crossed here. Look at this page, it was used. This page too, it was not crossed. It was crossed here. This candle is here. It did not cross it. This one crossed again. You check it back. But once that is crossing, it's been crossed by many candles most times. That means, the level is not strong. You understand? But because I want to place my trade, because the one I, uh, the Euro GDP here, that I first of all place here, this Euro GDP, look at the, my resistance, it was above and below. It's not in the middle. Because where I find my support and resistance is at this point. That is where I find my support and that is very, very strong. At this point, at this point. So what I did there was just to create my pending order. This $100 here and $50 here. That once the market reaches point that is coming down, and once the market reaches point that is going up, that's where I pick up the order. But when I look at this one, because I don't want to place the trade immediately and leave the market for you guys, so that's why I now find the level around this point. That's why I place it here. Do you understand? Hello? I don't put any questions, but you All right. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.